Oh, it says we have a, a quest here? Oh, we do. Let's go do it then. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. I am <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. I understand your concern, sir, but we've got our hands full with other matters. We'll try to take care of it as soon as we can. We can get to it. We appreciate hey. your patience. As soon as you can, I can't afford to wait. Don't you understand? Everybody's going to be in deep trouble if you don't What's get on? on this. What's the problem? Sounds like we're dealing with a serious situation mm -hmm. here. Huh? You could say that. My farming's equipment's all ruined. A band of zoogles are behind it. The pesky varmints. They're using earth astral energy or whatever you call it, making the metal on my equipment rust Why up. Why is this happening? And I can't fix rusted equipment. How am I supposed to harvest my crops uh now? If it's just zoogles you're dealing with, can't you, the renins here, scare them off? These ones are untamed. Even the renins are helpless to do anything Damn about it. them. If something ain't done soon, the yield of my field is going to be worse than awful. Minoxia might be doing well these days, but that's down to farmers like me who help maintain our I food guess. supplies. I can definitely understand why this is a big problem, yeah. I know what it's like to have to go without food. You do too, <sighs> right, Law? Yeah, things get pretty miserable when you go hungry. I'm sure plenty of people in this realm remember what it's like all too well. I don't want to have to see them suffer through that again. Got yeah, we'll lend a hand. Why don't you let us take care of those zoogles? We can't just stand by and let people starve. The... You do that? You're a literal lifesaver. I just hate that the guard and armor soldiers aren't handling it like yeah. they should. When people's ability to eat is at stake, you can't sit around waiting for people to act. Law is right. We'll fix this. You wait here while we get rid of those zoogles. I'm getting rusty. Not a problem. Do zoogles just go after anything that looks remotely like farm equipment? It's me. Let's just focus on ensuring they don't make matters any worse. By the way, why do you keep looking over yourself? Huh? Oh, no reason. Don't worry about it. What? Where are all the where are these zoogles? Oh. Oh, are they around here? There's just a dude walking. It's really not, right? Look at this dude just chilling. Were there guards here before? I don't even think we fought an earthen mass. I hate camping out. I thought this was one. But it didn't pop up like I thought it would. What's this way? I think Hudo senses an owl around here. Gotta break through. Fall into the own deck. You're mine. You're mine. Vanquish darkness. You pick the wrong spot. Rising wyvern. Start up. Divine strength. You're off. Dragon swarm. Oh what? Here I go. Okay. Here I go. Coming through. Oh here go. Scarlet Inferno! Vanquish Darkness! This could be useful. It's like really nearby. Hmm. Where? There's nothing here. It doesn't even connect to this scent. Nope. Let's quit wandering around and get back to work. There's a dude here. Look, Hoodle. One of your buddies. Oh, 
you saved me. Thank you. When those Zuko started chasing me around, I was sure I was sure I was done for. Tomatoes. up here? There it is. Oh, these are earthen masses. Duh. Dang, we got all three of them. I can feel my precision improving. Nice. All right, there's not much here. I say we go get those earthen masses now. There's the Zugal we were asked to handle. An opponent like this should be easy. You picked the wrong fight. Oh my god, he aimed at the wrong one. This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away. No choice. Use healing arc. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Take cover the caster. Oh, come on. I was... Oh, shit. It's too late. Here, let me help. Vanquish darkness. Take this. Eat this. You're finished. Oh, my God. I'll smash you. You're surrounding us. An astral arc? That's my cue. Shut him down. Yeah, I look pretty flashy out there. So glad it met with your approval. How many more do we need to kill? I guess we can fight some closer to the we're though. looking for. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. How is this dude here? No. Oh my god, can I please just be left alone? You know, watching you really makes me realize. 
makes you realize what? Which may be thinking too much gets in the way sometimes. Exactly! Don't think! Well, someone seems in tip-top form. Haha! <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. I just need two more. There's some up here. Oh my god, I got stuck. That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. Right, this here goes! Where are you going? Vanquish darkness! Glacial here Fear! Here 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 Freeze laser! Divine Freeze! Alvin! Astral energy! Say no more! Shut! Well done! Rising Albert! All finish you here and there! Rising Phoenix! That's the last of the Zoogles that were ruining the farm equipment. Yeah. Thank goodness. I mean, hey, I get the feeling. But were you really that worried about us winning? Oh, uh, no. Of course not. Huh? Hold up! Is this as valuable as I think it is? What's wrong with, um, Alfin? Okay! What's the situation yeah. with the Zoogles? You can rest easy. You got rid of every last Zoogle around here that was giving you, you trouble. It. Wonderful. Now I can finally repair all my damaged equipment. I got to hurry and get everything running again so I can resume my harvesting. Can't let anybody in this realm go hungry after all that. Hope you're not forgetting about us yeah. when you say that. Definitely not. Thank you so much for your house stepping up. I'm just happy to see Manuncia's dinner tables will still be full right. of food. Man, nothing like the risk of a food storage to make sure we get the well. job done. Oh, yeah, but everything's okay now. Hey, Alpha, is it just me, or were you a little preoccupied with something else? What makes you say that? I know you kept looking all over yourself for some reason. Oh, that? Well, uh, I remember what the farmer said about the Zoogles making all metal rust. Yeah? Why? I was afraid of what might happen to my armor and sword if we didn't do I something. Guess. Right, because it's all metal, yeah. huh? Yeah, if all my equipment rusted, I wouldn't be able to fight. You'd be worried too, right? Don't tell me you were in, in it mostly because you didn't want your stuff going to waste. Really? You gotta be kidding me, Alfin! <sighs> Hey, I'm just as shocked as you are. <laughs> what the hell? Got SP. Oh wait, that was him. Finally made it. All right, let's check out the palace if we can. I was skeptical about coexisting with Danas, but you get used to them. Get used to them. It's a pretty dress as well. Isn't the city so beautifully verdant? The climate is nice, but it's important that we take good care of this place. Lord Dohali wants the city's scenery to remain well preserved. He puts so much consideration into assuring we lead, lead pleasant lives. Do you have business in the palace? If you do, speak with the Danon over there. This is all Atalina Palace, the manor of Dohalim, Lord of Eld Manetia. Entry is forbidden to all those but with all those with his lordship's express permission. Please remove yourself. What? No. <laughs> no. Okay, where do we go? Can we go to the other places now?
Wait, can we go this way now? No, that's probably not the way. Can we go this way? My now? dad's working in the quarry today. So is mine. I'm gonna help him when I grow up. Oh whoa. Looks like yeah, it's clear now. working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. See if they're being mistreated. Up ahead is the Ghislaine Wood. It's outside of our patrol area and it's dangerous there, so stay away. Okay. Across here is the Razum Quarry. Your feet are visit, but try not to fall into the grinder. Getting ground up to bits is no way to go. Oh my god. Thanks for the warning. I'm sure they're treated very nicely in here. Stay sharp. We're going in. We're going in. I'm sorry. It's not that. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, rest up and try not <laughs> to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Thank you. I appreciate Why it. Why is that his voice? Why is that his voice? Hey, this isn't a good spot to be lying down. You might get hurt. Everything okay? Oh, sorry. I just felt a little off all of a sudden. Needed to rest. Maybe the air's getting a little stale here. Might not hurt to go outside and breathe some fresh air for a while. Wow. What are y'all even breaking? Is that a fan? That's legit. Heck yeah, but you know what they say, hard work is its own reward. Just gotta find the motivation to work in the first place. They got a fan in here. I keep a close eye on the worker's health and in any and any injuries that occur. You have to in order to keep things safe as possible. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Are they joking around together? Check out my guns. I've been building up working with my pickaxe. Impressive, huh? They sure are. I've got a feeling you're going to do well in the training grounds. I wouldn't get too cocky. Your opponents aren't going to just sit still and let you chip at them like those rocks you're used to. Huh. Uh, back before Doholim came, you could never imagine taking a break like this with them other Renans running the place. I know, now the government bureaucrats give us way more trouble than any soldiers ever did. Haha, <laughs> you can say that again. Everybody seems so happy working here. And it seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. I don't get it. How can it be like this? Nothing like knocking back a stiff drink after a long, sweaty day of bat-breaking work, am I right? I guess. Man, these people have been living the good life while others have been suffering. What's back here? I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? Uh, how, whoa. I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Oh, she's so pretty. Just Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? Holy shit! What? Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And yeah. for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin. At Lord Dohalim's behest. He's heard he of us? He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? Uh, yeah, we'll go see. All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. 
Before you go, Just... what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Danon medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalene would want to see us? It's probably a trap. No, it's Still, not. They already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. A trap. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Law's right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. Dan and Fe Fealty? Felty? That Kisara woman. She sounded pretty smug about serving Dohalim, didn't She's she? She's very prideful. She still yes. has a Renan for a boss. How is that any different from being a slave? Renan society is a meritocracy. To us, it's seen as natural that those who sit at the top rule over the rest. It's the same old wall as the rest of Dana at the end of the day. Just with a different coat of paint. I guess it can change people's attitudes if they can at least serve someone they respect. But they're still being deceived. It's obvious that's what's happening. On the one hand, her loyalty really did seem to be genuine. But on the other hand, Calaglia had its fair share of Danans who just accepted Ren and Rule because it was all they'd ever known. With that in mind, it can be hard to tell if her loyalty truly came about on its own. Or if it's just the result of years of subjugation. Who knows? Yeah. It might clear some things up if we hear what Doholim has to say. Yeah, you're right. Let's make our way to the palace. I think her loyalty is genuine. Whew. I don't sense any more enemies. Were there enemies in there? Wait, could I have gone in there? No, it won't let me right now. Oh, we got an R1. I don't know what it is. I but. just don't get it. The Danans have endured years of suffering. How could they just turn around and trust the Renans all of a sudden? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess they must have a pretty good reason, right? Like what? What could erase 300 years of pain and suffering? Maybe it's precisely because they suffered for so long that they see Dohalim as something of a savior. Hey, whose side are you on here, Alfin? Relax, Rinwell. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't jump to assumptions about these people until we know more about the situation. True. <laughs> I just don't get it. Not all Rinnans are probably evil. I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. Again, after we potted ways, an urgent petition came from the citizenry came in. Lord Doholim is currently busy responding to it. As such, I must ask for you to wait until he finishes his business. Once preparations are complete, I'll lead the way. Okay. So we just gotta chill. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Oh my god. Can y'all chill? Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the blazing sword, the liberator of Calaglia. You yeah. do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. Do we? She's but got some where are my armor. manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. 
I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> you did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? No. Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... Shion! Oh shit! And he doesn't have to get close! I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still, your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Oh! Elfin! He can't feel it. He's fine. Fair enough. Dang. Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. I love the color of his hair. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's worried? Uh, yes, what else would it be? It like to me. <laughs> uh, but, um, maybe not. Why else would he be- what else would he be doing this for? She's a loose cannon! Oh, but she gets increased maximum AG, that's fine. That's fine if she's a loose cannon, right? <laughs> she's got so many I gotta go through. Oh, wow. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. What? Surprise, <laughs> Shion didn't eat her whole plate. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single handedly. But on my own, even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people. The fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danans are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danan coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. <laughs> I'm a little surprised by that. Wait, what? What is this? His past?
how they get chosen? To be a lord? Stop this! Please! It's over! Stop. Oh gosh! Jeez! Why were they fighting? How could you? I what swear. The? I swear. I'll never forgive you for this. Yeah, he was just defending himself. It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not oh. play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> right? Spare me like, your dang. answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to oh, say, I will gone. not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik. That's that. Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. This is very strange compared to the other two realms we've been to. Damn, look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you <laughs> think it's got? Don't you think you're being a little too relaxed? They could strike at any moment. If they were going to attack us, they would have done it already. We got an R1. So you're the blazing sword of Colaglia now, huh? Come to think of it, I remember Ganabelt calling you that too. Yeah, you're getting to be pretty famous among the lords. Yeah, and that's not a good thing either. What do you mean? That's something you should be proud of, if anything, Alfin. They're scared of you, man. You're a real badass. It's not as simple as that, Law. The more well-known he is, the more people might come after him. No, that's not what I'm worried about. It isn't? When people call me that, it feels like there's something hanging over me that shouldn't be there. It's hard to put into words, but it's something that doesn't feel like a part of me. Something I can't let be a part of me, or else. Hmm. Or else what? Well, I still think it's pretty amazing, but that's just me. Oh, we're definitely gonna explore. Can I go back in? Oh. Can I go in here? Oh! Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, there's people in here. Hey, isn't my meal ready yet or what? I'm sorry, we're still fixing it. Great, I'm still waiting on that paperwork aspert too. I'm terribly sorry, I'll go check on what's happening with that right away. Oh. The end that we have reserved for you is straight down the road once you leave the palace. Do not make us excellently regret his generosity. Are you sure this is such a good idea, Sir Kelzalik? Do you not realize that our guests are still here? We'll have this conversation later. Oh!
the Lord's quarters and the treasury. Sorry, I can't let anyone into the Lord's chamber without a prior appointment. I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. Can we go in here? They probably won't let us in either. This is Lord Dohalim's private quarters. Whoa! That dude scared me. <laughs> Very pretty here. There's a meeting room over here? Wait, this is a meeting room? This looks like a, like a quarters. Entrance Plaza. books Tassara would have on her shelves would be com about Comet, but I also found cookbooks and fishy books in her room. Gee, I wonder who got her interested in those things. The best offense is a good shield. An illustration guide to shields, shield historia. Whoever owns these books should like shields. <laughs> Pork bun recipe! Oh, that sounds so good. It's an array of guard weaponry. It appears to be quite well maintained. Oh shit, Kassara's in here. Whatever you all think of him personally, the guardsmen have sworn an oath to loyal of loyalty to serve and protect Lord Daholim. Anyone who attempts to disrupt their peace and stability that our Lord has worked so hard to realize shall be met with no mercy. Alright, Kasara, just, just checking shit out. So she gets her own personal room. Wait, it says we're on the second floor. Can we go to the first floor? I heard that our ancestors used to be able to read and write, but we all forgot how to do it. Yep, but look at you now, dispensing medicine like a pro. There's nothing I can't learn from reading books, and once I figured out how to write, I started recording what I learned for future reference. I'm so thankful to our Lord Doholin for giving me so many wonderful chances to learn and improve myself. We have so much to be grateful for. If it wasn't for Lord Doholin, we wouldn't be able to live together like this despite being unrelated. Yeah, you're right. I'm so glad I have you, sis. I, you feel so warm and soft. Somebody's getting sleepy. I think it's bedtime. Aw, that's cute. It's a selection of books on etiquette. The titles alone make your posture go rigid. <laughs> oh, goodness. You sure are working hard for a young boy your age. That's because my dad collapsed working in the quarry. He's recovering in the, med the medical facility, so I have to take over for him until he gets better. That's real big of you. I should send the young guys who sleep on the job to talk to you. Maybe then they'll take their work seriously. He found a ha hastily scrawled note. Commerce with Mahag Sar grows more inscrutable by the day. We send vast quantities of resources, but only receive a pittance of dodgy goods in return. His, is his lordship so aware of this? So what is Mahag Sar exactly? One of the five realms of Dana. From the sound of it, Kelzalik had some dealings with them. It's your turn to patrol now. Okay, time to get out there and make Lord Daholin proud. 
what do you think they're, you're doing even when you're a guardsman? No one seriously expects you to sleep in your... Oh, good grief. Okay, don't, I, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, that's gonna hurt when he wakes up. Okay, I guess we can just go out here to leave. Oh, okay. Now we're on the, the first floor. We can get to it. Lord Dole, I'm sure, is an unusual lord. I can't believe he treats the embed so... Hey, we're not supposed to call them that anymore, remember? Right, my fault. Old habits die hard. When I was a little kid, I never would have dreamed that I'll... I'd one day get to work in the palace. Me neither. I remember when just looking at this place used to be enough to get you killed. It's funny we look back on it now, but when they first announced they were recruiting guardsmen, it was more than a little suspicious. Lord Dohling really is trying to look out for us, which is all the more reason we, why we have to make sure we don't let him down. I got to say, I'm always blown away by you Danans in the guard. What makes you say that? Well, as you can imagine, ever since I was born, I was always taught that Danans were an inferior people. Not even people, really. It's true that Danans can't use astral arts like us, but you still learn quickly and are able to keep up with the work. If I hadn't chosen to follow Lord Dorholm here, there's no way I would ever come... I would have ever come around to opening my mind and thinking differently. We owe him a lot for bringing us joy and allowing us to truly live. I intend to replay, repay that as best as possible I can here in the guard. Yeah, everyone seems pretty content. first floor now, I guess. See what's up. Getting a lot of supplies. Nice kitchen. All right. There's some people in the middle. The library's over there. I'm happy to report the stray Zugal hunts are going well. The Dana's training appears to be paying off. That's great to hear. Those guys are always so hardworking. I can't believe how much they've managed to learn in just a few short years. Yeah, but I don't see how this contributes to the crown contest. Yeah, it doesn't. Requests keep coming in from citizens asking that we do something about the Zugos that keep popping up on the outskirts of town. They must be talking about the strays. Those things really have multiplied over the last couple of centuries. Apparently it's so bad that, these, that they say there are more strays now than Zugos that are actually under rent and control. Hmm. We can't help to exterminate all of them, but we should probably at least work to keep them out of the cities and villages. You don't fight bad for someone who grew up as a Danon. Thanks, but I still have a long way to go before I'll catch up to Kassara. That's true, the woman's one in a million. Shame to see such talent go to waste here on Danon when she has so much potential. You really think the Rennens will allow a Danon woman to come up there? If that's what they're implying. Ooh, time to take a break. It wasn't that long ago that we'd be whipped if we ever stopped to rest. It's amazing just how different things are. 
It really is. I'm wondering if there's gonna be like a catch, like, oh, but he's doing something else awful. Whoa, what is this place? The shelves here are filled with books. Not just Renan books either. There are tons of Danon ones too. Rinwell, I get that you're excited, but we've got more important things to worry about right now. Y yeah, you're right. Sorry. No, books matter. It's amazing to watch these children grow up. They won't even think twice about who's Rinan and who's Danon when they're adults. That's because you're such a great teacher, miss. Look at you. I can't believe you already know how to flower someone so well. Miss, there's something I don't get. Me too. All right, all right. One at a time now, children. Watching them work so hard makes me want to step in and lend a hand. Why do I feel so sad all of a sudden now? The red and gentleman keeps looking at me for some reason. He must think I'm doing a poor job. Actually, he might have a crush on you, but... Omelette! Yum. I hate to bother you, but would it be possible for you to help with my studies? It'd mean a lot if you did. Why, certainly, I'm more than happy to help with Lord Dunham means efforts to spread education to the underprivileged. After all, a more educated populace makes for a richer's realm in more ways than one, and that includes the Danons. Thank you so much. I'll do my best to make the most of this opportunity Lord Dunham has given us. 2,451 days left. What the heck? It's a diary of a Renan who counted down the days to the crown contest. Okay, why would he. Okay. Curious in you, finding gems in the rough. <laughs> Astral arts for winners. Your sur surefire guide to claiming a lordship. It's packed with written literature. For some reason, they're all written in Danon. Oh. An illustrated guide to Zugos, raising and breathing. On da Danon customs. Jokes unfit for a dinner party. Even Renans enjoy their fair share of low brow humor, it seems. Practical astral arts, theories, and applications. A chronologically. A chronolog. <laughs> whatever. A crown contest. It's an order. A swordmanship book with a slash cover. Did the reader get mad at the book or use it in a fight? That's kind of funny. An introduction to the government of Linagus. The joy is a fine liquor, a con compendium of Minimusen breweries. The fashionista's guide to Linagus attire and armor. These are thick astral energy research tomes, so hard to read they can put you to sleep. <laughs> There are books about the art of torture. What are these black splotches on the cover? Oh no. Working slaves to the bone while maintaining productivity. What the hell? What are these books? Anyway, I think we're good here. At least in the library. I always find it so stupid when you visit this courtyard. As it turns out, it was some of the Dan Danons working for the palace who put it together. They do good work. It is very pretty here. Don't you think Lord Dohoodling's rat being rather soft on those in beds? I'm sure they could be a lot more productive than they currently are. Watch what you say. I doubt his excellency would be pleased to hear you say that. Look, all I'm saying is the embeds are a valuable resource. I don't think it's wrong to want to get as much out of them as they can. Definitely, they're a valuable asset we shouldn't be wasting. We shouldn't take for granted what we have. No. Got two storerooms. Another recipe? Oh, a heavy tree. Ooh. Ooh. 
What is this? It's money! A happy bottle. Alright, I guess we're good. Good to leave the palace now. See what's gonna happen.